Hi folks, Templar here, and today we'll be talking about the horror genre. Now this will be a three part series, where I'll be talking about horror in general, plus the two major franchises that are what I call the kings of horror, Silent Hill and Resident Evil. And that's why you will know Resident Evil Remake is coming out, and I will be doing a let's play of that, and this is why this video is coming up. Now, as far as the horror genre goes in general, I think the horror genre has had a massive resurgence as of late, you know, thanks to, you know, Amnesia, Five Nights at Freddy 1 and 2, and the Evil Within games, and also Aliens I Isolation. It has shown to me that the horror genre is not, you know, completely dead. Even though it's had a long period of, you know, like bad horror games and not very good, you know, on the scare factor and the horror, it's been mostly too much, you know, action, 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 or lack of, you know, scare. Now, the question that people ask is, what makes a good horror game? Now, is it, you know, the jump scares? Is it the atmosphere? Or is it something else? Well, to me, it's a mixture of all. Let's start with a game, let's say, um, Alien Isolation. It follows a formula of the Silent Hill formula, which I will get into a little bit later, where you're pretty much helpless, you can't kill a boss, the boss has got more chance of getting rid of you quicker than anything else. I'm not just at the same principle, but it's also been a fun way of like making the horror game make you feel helpless and it's the environment. Now, as for Evil Within, yeah, it took most of Resident Evil's formula of like four witch mechanics, but it also took Silent Hill's, you know, atmosphere thing where you are fighting to survive from certain death and you have a way of fighting back the way the other game like is Aliens um, Isolation you don't. Also Five Nights at Freddy is a jump scare fest uh, let's be honest but the thing about the game is for a four pound game I mean it's so cliche jump scares but yet you don't know when it's going to happen is that like you know what's going to happen but you don't know when and plus the fact when you play this game you know in the dark with heads and you're on your own it really changes a lot. I mean when you play a horror game during the day you don't feel scared but when you play horror you know during the night it's ten times scarier and also I also have one guy about horror games is co-op now don't get me wrong there are certain games that are good with co-op you know like Zombie Rising or Dead Island or Dead Island Riptide them games are fit for that kind of co-op but with most games I feel with the horror genre you don't need co-op you just need a good atmosphere a very scary enemy and a very good um, tone now as for like another good horror game Dead Space was okay it was decent okay it was a bit light on its horror side but as far as you know the whole premises of it was pretty good while of course you know Dead Space 2 it kind of dropped the ball I mean 3 was a complete disaster with Michael Cage just took away the, everything that would make Dead Space brilliant but what can you do anyway folks that's part one of my horror discussion and I'm hoping to do the other two pretty soon which is Silent Hill and Resident Evil and what I think of these two franchises and then I'll do a final one what I think of horror in general this is Black Silver signing off and I hope you have a good one bye